Hi Capricorn, this is going to be your weekly love reading, okay? First card out is wedding. Wedding energy. Okay. What else for the collective when it comes to love? Reconciliation for the collective when it comes to love. Forgiving and learning. One more. Okay, I got two. Bottom of the deck is getting to know each other. Allow your friends to help you. Engagement. Interesting. So it definitely looks like I'm getting two storylines from this. Okay, obviously the first storyline for this is going to be somebody that you know um already have been with you love this person you do love them that's the energy that i'm seeing out here and it appears that they love you too and they miss you someone here wants forgiveness you've learned a lot of lessons maybe they feel like they've learned a lot of lessons during a separation or like the two of you have definitely you have some form of history together because it looks like somebody is ready to release and heal the past and move on and they feel like they've learned some something new from they finally learned a lesson okay so this is giving like okay i want to get my act together i'm ready to do this let's take things to the next level be it whether or not you know the label if you weren't committed or had a label on it then this is somebody here saying hey please forgive me i'm ready to take this to the next step okay i'm ready to commit if you were in a relationship and you broke up somebody here may want to move in together they may want to uh, make it official and just be like the only only, you know, you be the only person that they're dating, right? Or re energies and roles can also be reversed here. Um, so, you know, it looks like here somebody wants to surprise you. And they may be using somebody to, to get to you to surprise you. I don't get negative energy here. It just looks like somebody here has some... It's reaching out to a friend maybe and saying, hey, like, what should I do? Somebody here could be getting advice about a situation. Now I'm going to tell you this too, okay? I feel like definitely something here, if you're in separation, whether this is someone new you haven't met, there could be somebody here that you're going to meet from a different past life that you're getting to know because there is a getting to know each other energy now this could be for someone like you and your person just deciding to get to know each other in a different way you're starting to see everything in a different light right you're seeing the relationship for what it is and it's like somebody here is ready to to really be mature about it is what i'm getting so that's that's a really good but a good thing but i'm also getting to that there could be new energy here we're going to pull Light Seer's deck, the sun, and the nine of wands. Somebody here is realizing something about you. They are in their feelings. King of Cups. They could be a Leo. They could be a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. But this could be you, like someone here recently getting a divorce and recently have split. This is a divorcee. Someone you could meet. And... Um, from a past life, I feel like. But that's not going to be for everybody. And this is someone new that you're going to be, maybe be introduced to through a friend. Or someone that you know, like a co-worker or something. Regardless, this is whoever this friend is or this co-worker or whatever their title is. There's somebody I feel like who supports you and genuinely wants to see you happy, okay? Um, but there's a male here... Uh, a masculine that really wants to see you happy. All right. Yeah. Two of Cups. Wow. Wow. Yeah. There's a lot of love here I'm getting. I'm getting a lot of love. Yeah. I'm telling you, there's somebody here who wants to give that maybe didn't give in the past, it looks like. Definitely, if this is somebody who wants to reconcile, I'm telling you, this person is lonely without you. If you are single right now, you could be waiting on someone to give you something, you know, like an equal give and take. You're looking for a love, someone here who's going to love you and treat you right. And it's going to be equal. And it definitely looks like there is a possibility of something being equal give and take with the two of cups and the six of pentacles being out here. But definitely someone from the past missing you. They want to talk. They want forgiveness. 
Ace of Cups. I'm telling you, I I know this is rec this is heavy reconciliation and forgiveness. Somebody really here has learned a valuable lesson. I feel like somebody wants to release the past and just move forward in a new way, in a different way. I feel like somebody here wants doesn't want to do things the way that they did them in the past. And again, for some of y'all, I feel like there is really like new love coming in after a time period of feeling lonely, looking for somebody here that's going to give to you what you deserve that you're willing to and ready to give to them too. I feel like there's somebody here that wants to come in if this is a new person and give you everything they feel like you deserve and you've just been in this lonely period um, doing everything you can to like, I'm not saying like just because you're lonely, it doesn't mean that you're not taking care of yourself. Because I do see this Ace of Cups here for my single people, right? But it's like um, for people who haven't recently broke up some with somebody. Because I feel like some of you guys are dealing with somebody here who truly wants uh, an ex that truly wants you back. And they want to do right. And they want to do things differently this next time around. Um, and it looks it's looking high hopes out here. Like it's looking very positive is what I mean by that. But... Let's keep going. Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. I just feel like for a lot of you all, this is, could be a new person from a past life who you're going to meet. And it's finally going to be exactly what you deserve. Everything that you wish for, pray for, and hope for. And I was saying, like, if you're lonely or you've just been waiting for the right person, you haven't been dating, and you've been like, dang, a little down in the dumps. It's like, okay, I'm going to take care of myself. It doesn't mean you're unhappy with your situation or with your life. But I do feel a sense that, that some of you all, whoever I'm talking to, you do want a relationship. A loving, kind relationship here with the Two of Cups and the Six of Pentacles and Ace of Cups. Yeah. Show me more. The Moon. I feel like this Moon card, Cancer Energy, just flew on top of the wedding and the Six of Pentacles. I feel like this, this might be a secret proposal. The Nine of Cups is back on the bottom of the deck. Spirits say, yes, that's true. Ace of Swords. Wow. Yeah. So whatever is in the dark is going to be coming to light here. Let me see. Clarify the moon, please. Why is the moon here? Well, somebody's secretly holding on to your four of pentacles. Why is the moon here? Yeah, who are, I didn't even see this card flip over. The five of pentacles is here and the five of cups. Definitely somebody from the past holding on to you. Okay. So, so for a lot of you, this is an X. Show me the moon. So a lot of emotion, a lot of holding on to the past, a lot of ego, pride, right? Holding back. Uh, not talking about your feelings, you know, being a little bit guarded here. Whoever's in this moon energy here who's like feeling a, a bunch of regret. Somebody here is going through a lot of pain, I feel like. They're just like learning the, the hard way about a situation. The lovers on the bottom of the deck. So more Leo energy with the strength card. And then lovers is about a choice. It's Gemini energy. So I feel like somebody's in deep regret and sad over their ego, like they allowed their ego to get in the way and somebody here has learned a very valuable lesson about ego, okay? This is an ego death right here. Show me the Ace of Swords, please. What's this clarity? The Okay, Magician, Gemini. What's this clarity here? I feel like somebody here knows what they want now. Yeah, whoever this is, they know what they want, okay? They want you. The Magician and the Fool card, Aries, Aquarius energy here. Somebody's like getting this clarity full circle. Like, I want the collective. I want a new beginning. I don't want to do things the old way anymore. King of Cups. There goes that King of Cups again. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. This masculine wants another chance. They've been healing. You're about to hear from a masculine. I see the page of wands on the bottom of the deck with the six of swords. Somebody here could be traveling towards you if you live at a distance from this person. 
I feel like this person has been very quiet about their emotions and their feelings and, and partially because I feel like they've been confused with this Seven of Cups energy. I'm not sure what the confusion is about because this person knows that you are what they prayed for and asked for. They, they, they do. Hmm. It was like this person was in denial and refused to see with the Seven of Swords and this Two of, two of Swords here. I think somebody, I feel like somebody's getting ready to rush to your house or some, well, I don't even know here. What else here for the collective? Let's pull from a different deck to see what comes out. A miracle. So whatever new beginning is coming towards you is definitely is rushing in towards you and it's just around the corner here. So continue to hope and pray. Um, because it does look like somebody here could be losing hope and they're not trusting, but spirit is saying, Hey, something is getting ready to unfold in a beautiful way for, for you. And, and delays and blocks are being removed. This literally says miracle, um, a miracle is coming your way and it's just around the corner. So don't lose hope. Trust that all is unfolding beautifully in your life without delays. And transition energy, okay? And it says you're undergoing a significant life change in entering into a time of transition. Growth will be will only be possible by suspending your desire to fulfill the uncomfortable void that you feel. And that's why I was saying for some of you all, if you are single and this is not an ex, like this person, I feel like another energy too of someone new uh, after you're really doing what you can to support yourself. Self-love energy, right? Um, but you you are a little lonely and you really want a relationship but you don't want just any relationship right and so maybe you feel like well everything in my life is great but the love area you know what i'm saying and so that's been a little slow well if that's you and you feel like that resonates for you then you've met you're manifesting this miracle new beginning and it's gonna be like nobody or nothing in the past or from the past okay this could be somebody that you're gonna have a higher level of commitment here so also too, if that's you, let go of pride and let go of ego, let go of the past, okay? Because I feel like the new person is going to want to give you everything. They're genuinely going to want to spend time with you to get to know who you are, what you like, what you want. And I feel like it's what you've been waiting for for a very long time. So stay optimistic about this, okay? We have worth waiting for getting to know each other here i'm pulling from the bottom of the deck stay optimistic about your love life so things are going to be improving okay and then we have keep an open mind okay your soulmate may differ from your usual expectations and type so keep an open mind okay don't judge a book by its cover and then trust energy the situation is calling for you to have trust and faith right which we just talked about a miracle is coming and it's all about you trusting that this new beginning and what you work so very hard for or what you've been waiting for is, is it is coming all right yeah i think i want to pull for those of you this is a past person let's get a few cards on them okay for on this past person Show me about this past person's energy, please. Show me the past person's energy. Make sure you guys hit the like button, please, and subscribe to the channel. All right. We have... Yeah, you've got a new beginning and keep an open mind. I'm telling you, look at what came out. This is, this is a different deck. Hope to get the relationship off the ground and give it a chance and keep an open mind while looking for love to sample an array of possibilities that life presents. Okay, you could have just met somebody in February here. Somebody here could be an Aquarius with that February energy. You could be an Aquarius. Um, so definitely a new beginning coming. But I told you this person from the past, somebody's coming in hiding something from you. Um, I, or like whatever was being hidden from you or if somebody's getting ready to surprise you or shock you, I feel like that's going to come out. Okay. After no contact, they are wondering if they have lost you. Expect a phone call. Oh, I'm sorry. They expect you to call them, the person from the past. So whoever this person was, they expected to hear from you and they did not hear from you. I told you this was a death, an ego death here, unawakened. 
So this is looking like to me somebody was in their ego, um, you know, you may decide here too for this person that's coming back from the past to take it slow with them because there's no more trust. You want to make sure that they're, they're not still in their ego. So spirit is saying, don't rush the process. So you're going to feel like you don't want to rush the process with this person either because you're afraid that they're hiding something from you or they're still, you know, not being honest. But I feel like there is going to be a conversation, by the way, you know, the moon and then the ace of swords. It's like, yeah, whatever was hidden is going to come out. It's going to be talked about. It's going to have to be talked about. Um, then we have divine intervention. Divine intervention will help bring the two of you together. I want to know more about this divine intervention. What about this divine intervention, please? This could be the person that's basically this person is being pushed by the divine basically to contact you. Oh. Hold on. You deserve better. There's something better for you. Just for, uh, There's something better just waiting for you to overcome your fear of the unknown. So divine intervention here is, like I said, this person is having an ego death and they're being pushed towards you. And they're, gonna, they, they're ready to do something different. They're being guided and pushed towards you to do that. But I feel like some of you all are just, you feel like you deserve better. And you're waiting for somebody for those of you who are single. Okay. Spirit is going to bring, yeah, third party. They're involved with someone else who they feel obligated to. So that could be that red flag from the past, from some past person too. Okay. That's why you feel like you deserve better because you're not going to be anybody's third party. Show me more. Fear of rejection. They fear it's too late, that it's over, and they fear that you uh, won't forgive them. If this person still has a third party, man, you're not going to even think about this twice. You're not going to entertain it. One more for the past person. Driven by jealousy. The thought of you being with someone else drives them crazy. Testing the waters. And then hard to open up. They fear being vulnerable and risk being hurt emotionally. So this person was somebody here who was like in pride and ego. Not very emotionally uh, expressive. They wanted to keep their options open, you know, with this third party energy and testing the waters. And, you know, like somebody didn't want to commit to you at that time. But now it's like, well, damn, I feel like they do want to commit to you now because they're being, you know, driven by, you know, divine intervention. Plus, they're jealous and they think you may have moved on and you have a new beginning. But this person does, I feel like, still have some growing to do. But I do feel like they've learned a valuable lesson. Give me one more. Thank you. Yeah, you're going to have a hard decision here. Yeah, I'm telling you, there's an energy of loneliness out here. That's like the fourth time this has come out. We had the five of pentacles, the five of cups, you know, um, forgiving and learning energy. That all feels very lonely to me. This person is def definitely lonely or this could be the energy that you're in. But this person, I feel like from the past, they've been craving your attention and they're really jealous and they are like pissed at you. Like they're really hurt and upset that they haven't heard from you by now. So there's two paths, you know, um, I feel, oh, this is spirit saying you're going to have a decision over two people. Two paths to choose equally attractive for different reasons, stuck in indecision, a hard decision. That's That was that lover's energy. Um, so some of y'all definitely could be dealing with a Gemini, but like... You could have two paths, two people, an old person or a new person to choose from, or this person is still trying to choose in between you and a third party, which is so weird to me because whoever this third party is that they're with, there can't, it can't be that great. They, you know, because why are they so lonely? Why are they in this five of cups, five of pentacles energy and they've got somebody else? power of choice. I feel like spirit is telling you you're about to have a, the power of choice here. You know, it's going to be your choice. Trust whatever choice you make. Love will find you again. Don't stay out of fear. 
This could be a past person trying to come out of fear uh, also, too, and choosing you. There's a lot of Aquarius energy out here. We have spring, December, January. Um, then I saw February a second ago. December Capricorn, maybe. Last test. Still the same person. Nothing has changed. But have you learned a very valuable lesson? Well, that took a turn. Okay. So, like I said, for some of y'all, this person hasn't, like, they're ready to, this person feels like they genuinely want to try to do something different, but I don't think that they're, this person has gotten there yet. They're still not fully awakened and fully healed. It's like a part of them still is trying to like hold on to some other stuff and then still, or another person and or maybe some things from the past too, even though they, yeah, denial. Didn't I talk about that denial with that seven of swords and that two of swords? Being in denial over the relationship ending is prolonging your suffering time to let go. So it's like this person, somebody is, this person definitely can't let go of you. Maybe you're having some trouble getting over them. <clears throat> So, yeah, let's see what this person wants to say to you. What's this person want to say to the collective? Oh, I wish I could hold you tonight. Okay. What does this person want to say to the collective? You deserve the best. Yeah, I mean, that's the energy I was getting earlier at the beginning of the reading. It was like, there's somebody here who wants to give you everything. There is. Somebody really genuinely wishes they could give you everything. But for some reason, it feels like, why are they holding back? Why are they not doing that? Do you still think about me? One more. I saw something flip over. I can't hold back any longer. I told you. I'm telling you, the reason this person can't hold back any longer is because they're lonely without you. Um, they are jealous. Um, they're questioned because like they realize they thought they would have heard from you by now. And that's making this person really nervous. So and they feel like you've moved on. You know, this person is just not in a good place right now emotionally. Like, they're really kind of heartbroken about this with this Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles energy. Somebody could be lovesick. Uh, they could be physically ill, physically sick, over you, um, legit. And I, I'm not being funny about this or making light of it, but Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles is like depression. And maybe even, like I said, somebody's suffering sick. They don't feel well. Yeah. Anywho, so that's your reading, you guys. I'll see you later. Subscribe to the channel. Um, join us on Patreon if you're into Twin Flame, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine readings. But if this is where we end, um, if you need a personal reading, the link is in the description box. Also, I am open for readings. But I'll see you later. Mwah. Bye.